FNAF is an amazing game. I'm so glad it's on Roblox. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Roblox Zeus. In today's video, we will be going over the top five FNAF Roblox game remakes. Make sure to watch until the end to find out. As usual, do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give us a like if you enjoy the video, and let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And with that said, let's get right into think, the video. I think I'm lost around here. With you here? No. Dead end. No. Okay. I'm. I am lost. Number 5, FNAF Support Requested. This game is pretty cool, but the reason we have it at the bottom of this list is because its development is discontinued, so as good as it is, it won't be getting much better. But it's already pretty good and fun. Essentially, the game is just the Roblox version of Five Nights at Freddy's VR Help Wanted. Depending on the character you play, you have different jobs, whether it be to survive the night or to make sure the other players, well, don't survive the night. It has 49 million visits and 123,000 likes, so it's definitely been a fan favorite within the Roblox FNAF community, so I definitely recommend checking it out. The game used to be quite fun just because of how well the jump scares were spread out in the game, going to show how much of a light game it was. Many popular Roblox YouTubers like Flamingo and Gaming with Kev did happen to try it out when it was available, but it also did come to the conclusion that it was very limited in terms of gameplay. Eyes and make his eyes glow. And look at his chest pops out and you can see Gregory hiding inside. Number 4, Freddy's Ultimate Roleplay. Now this really brings the ultimate to the fend for all play space. If you guys know anything about FNAF, you probably know that there are tons, and I mean tons of different characters. I mean there are several different variations of just the main characters, let alone all the other ones they have to offer, and this roleplay game has 66 different ones that you can choose from to play as. Not only that, but depending on what type of role you get play that you do, they also have seven different locations, and there are so many countless story possibilities you have within the game. Not to mention probably one of the best parts, you can customize your own personal animatronics, so there's really so much you can do. Having such an incredible variety means many variations of killers and characters. This meant that the players can sort of create their own adjusted creepy stories and outcomes, which makes it so that there's much more fun to play. Like it's still available to play, so you should definitely check it out if you haven't already. Oh, which I haven't done yet, but someday. Uh, and also, a lot of the animatronics have their own... Number 3, Animatronics World. This game is definitely comparable to Freddy's Ultimate Roleplay in a lot of ways, and many actually prefer the previous one, but at the same time, the Animatronic World has been around since 2014, and it really has the whole nostalgic feel that everyone always seems to love in any Roblox game. It goes in order from FNAF 1 all the way to FNAF 6, including Sister Location, and of course, has all the morphs that go with it. Absolutely crazy. And it wouldn't be a roleplay without the locations, which they have a lot of. And I mean a huge amount of locations, by the way. Presumably, there are 13 in total. And they even have Candy's Pizzeria, if you're familiar with it. So there's definitely a ton of possibilities in this game. Not to mention, they're actively uploading it too. And they're currently working on a security breach section, which is the new big game coming out. So I personally can't wait to see what they do with that. This is number 9. Now, let's keep going. Number 8 on my list. Number 2, Freddy's Tycoon Remastered. Made by Katorium, who is a popular and well-known friend of the Roblox YouTuber Flyborg, this tycoon is really cool too, and it's all based around Five Nights at Freddy's, of course. And you also have the ability to get a house, even so, once you go through all the building of your pizzeria. Players can totally use the game to roleplay as well, which is really cool. If you could honestly roleplay and do a whole series as well on building your pizzeria from the ground up, which is a bit of an odd one considering it's a FNAF remake, but it's still a good option for diversity in the game regardless. Definitely endless ideas, and since it was made by Kale, who always does a good job of making quality Roblox games, it's definitely worth checking out. Just having the ability of having a roleplay game in Roblox with a FNAF theme already makes it quite exciting, so to see the other YouTubers as well, such as the crew playing and having so much fun, it did get a lot of Roblox community to end up liking it a lot too. Ba 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 Bonnie. Bonnie is the purple one. Yes. Yes! Oh! Number 1, FNAF at the Roblox HQ. Five Nights at Freddy's at the Roblox HQ is a FNAF fan game. Some people think this is more of like a Roblox simulator, since this game is based on working in a Roblox HQ. The player plays as Builderman. Basically, he works in a Roblox HQ, with Roblox on the phone reminding him about the unusual events happening in the company. Builderman has to try and survive the unusual events happening. If he fails to do so, he will start having nightmares, and eventually, he will commit suicide. Robux is the main currency in this game. To earn Robux, the player has to complete a night. There's a total of five nights in this game. Once all the nights are finished, the player can now redo all the remaining nights. The player starts off with 100 Robux. They can buy stuff in the catalog to decorate and improve the Roblox HQ. If the player has less than 30 Robux, they lose and have to start all over again. He makes when, when Foxy sprints out. Eh! 
How do you get there that fast, idiot? Actual Mora. Remakes, bringing us to the end of our video. Do make sure to subscribe to the channel and, of course, like the video if you haven't already, since that really helps us out a lot. Make sure to have post notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of our videos. With that said, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.